Carsten Welch and I am from Germany originally. I studied, worked and lived in a number of countries throughout my career. I started off in, in Germany, um, then studied for some time in Berkeley, California. I spent some time in Japan, um, close to Tokyo, before moving for a postdoc position to Switzerland and ultimately taking up my academic appointment here in the UK. design and optimize particle accelerators and light sources. These are the devices that are used to smash particles together and to understand the forces that make up everything in greater detail. I develop instrumentation that tell us more about the beams used in these accelerators and ultimately to do better experiments. So particles for us are the building blocks of matter of everything in the universe at the end. And there are some particles which are point-like and rather easy to generate, such as electrons, while there are others which are composite particles like protons um, that are much more difficult to create in a laboratory environment. And some particles, such as the Higgs particle, which have not been seen set free since the beginning of time, the Big Bang itself. And for those particles, we need very large machines, particle accelerators, to create them in a controlled environment and then to do precision studies with them. And ultimately, want to, what we want to find out is how all of these particles make up the universe around us. Particle accelerators are a tool for us. They are a hammer that allow us to smash the building bricks of the universe and to find out where we are coming from and about the fundamental concepts that lie behind everything. The way this is done is, is very similar to the gear shift in a car, is that a particle starts its journey at a low energy, it is extracted from an iron trap, uh, brought to several hundred thousands of volts energy before it goes into a linear accelerator, which is the first part in an accelerator chain, and then gets accelerated further. And then to go higher and higher in energy, or equivalent to the gear shifts in a car, um, experts apply different circular accelerators that are growing in size and where also the energy of the particle is growing. What we need to do is we need to, to use a bypass and first accelerate a beam of protons, which we then use uh, to generate a very intense beam of neutrons. And then these particles can be used uh, to study materials, uh, to study the property of materials in greater details than any other technology allows us to do that. And that's what being done at different facilities, such as the European Spallation Source, such as ISIS, in the UK and other neutron sources all around the world. Accelerators are used for a very wide range of applications from the atom smashers that take us back to the beginning of time and the Big Bang itself, all the way to modern therapy accelerators where protons and heavy ions are used to diagnose and treat cancer. Accelerators also find application for many real-world um, applications from airport security scanners to studies of biological uh, systems to energy generation um, or the irradiation of materials. We had fascinating discussions with audiences, young and old, about particle accelerators in the L. In, in the end and not the Hollywood movies as such. I've expanded this concept in recent years and now also look into the science of Stranger Things, for example, uh, to have another approach to explain the concepts that underpin particle accelerator science and technology, but again with a narrative that uses a Hollywood movie or a Netflix smash series 
um, in order to explain these concepts. These might be the accelerators of the future, very compact, ultra compact light sources that allow us to do studies that we can currently only dream of.